Tonight, Eyewitness News is following the fight to keep the fanatic. The Phillies' beloved mascot could become a free agent and move to another city. He's as Philadelphia as that cream cheese, Ben Franklin, a cheese steaker hoagie. A federal lawsuit described the inspiration behind him as green, fat, furry, big nosed, and immediately accessible to children. Suddenly, there's trouble for baseball's perhaps most beloved mascot, the Philly Fanatic. The Phillies wouldn't be the Phillies without the Fanatic. Can't lose the Fanatic. So if we lost the Fanatic, then yeah, they could take the Phillies too. The Phillies organization filed suit on Friday to protect the Fanatic from free agent designation. You heard right. The firm behind his design wants to withdraw from a 1984 agreement, allowing the Phillies to use the Fanatic forever. If we lose the Fanatic, they'll lose me too. He's my favorite player. Reaction at Citizens Bank Park was decidedly one-sided. The Fanatics going nowhere. My take is the Fanatics been such a part of Philadelphia, not just base, not just the baseball team, but I, I don't see how they cannot leave the Fanatic in Philadelphia. The Phillies aren't commenting, but in court documents, it's claimed the firm Harrison Erickson has threatened to sell the rights to the Fanatic if the Phillies don't renegotiate and pay them millions. It's a little disheartening. I want to know who uh, who's in charge of Harrison Erickson. It seems like you got a deal there. They ought to uh, honor it. So let's hope. As far as I'm concerned, the Philly Fanatic, it's like an institution here in the city. It's like the Liberty Bell. You know, he has to stay here. So the Phillies got to do whatever they can do to make sure they retain him here in Philadelphia. And of course, we will continue to cover this story as it makes its way through the courts.